is the meaning of this? See, my princess, what are you doing with this thief? And how is that your business? See, princess, the inspector just got the phone call. I asked us just to come and find out who this guy is. And this is how you're finding out? My princess, what will people say when they see the wife of the prince of Otumue Kingdom walking around town with the prison? Will you put that thing back? Whose wife are you talking about? Now, if the both of you just get yourselves out of this place and tell your prince that I said I am no longer interested in the marriage. I have found someone else. Get out. a breathtaking beauty. Her neck is an ivory tower. Her calves are like the tears with the rain dancing across them. Her laughter is like the sudden explosion of birds taking flight. Her eyes are like sun and the moon shining so bright. She should have everything at her beck and call and she'll be treated as a princess with servants waiting on her hands and feet. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How long have you been standing here? Not too long, my princess. Yes. My princess. What? The prince has arrived. What? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. She is always dressed in her royal garments and adorned in her feminine ornaments. Hey, I want to know the color of the dress she's wearing so I can select her dress. She's wearing pink and blue. Pink and blue. Alright, thank you. Yes. Please, better hurry up with that because we've got no time. Okay. to wash those clothes with the detergent I bought. Okay. Don't use that soap you used the other time that almost ruined my clothes. <laughs> what? You know the clothes are fragile. She is a beauty to behold. Anyone who casts a glance at her never takes his eyes off her, male and female alike. That is my daughter, Princess Margaret. The princess of the Ngala kingdom. And that, my son, is your bride to be. Sorry, I know I bore you with my lectures of my of my African princess. No, no, your highness. <laughs> Certainly not, you don't bore me. Really? You see, the lecture, like you choose to call it, is not boring at all. It only goes a long way to tell me how much the princess means to you. 
And I can assure you, I will definitely take it off from there when she becomes my wife. That's wonderful. I knew you would understand. I, uh, I've been thinking. How long will it take His Highness before he returns from Rome? As soon as the Pope is buried, the King will definitely come back home to start up with the marriage rites. Wow. I knew that was why you asked. Certainly. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I wonder what's keeping that daughter of mine. Your Highness, my prince, breakfast is served. Oh, wonderful. Philip, why don't you get yourself fixed at the table while I get your princess? Uh, Excuse me. To look good for my prince, mom. That is what I'm doing. Well, you have to hurry up with that. If not, there won't be anybody to look good for. Okay. He's waiting for you at the dining, okay? Meanwhile, Marian, your highness, get my food to my room, okay? Okay, your highness. Hurry up. I'll join him soon. All right, hurry up. <laughs> I wish I could learn how to cook, but my mother won't let me. She shouldn't let you. You know, the kitchen is meant for the chef and the servants. It's okay. Just at the snap of your fingertips, they're here to serve you. It's okay. But my grandmother taught me that an African woman does not attain her complete epitome of beauty if she is not domesticated. She has to learn how to cook, she has to learn how to clean, and take care of her family. Uzugadi, please bring my watermelon. I think I agree with her there. Mm. But don't also forget that an African princess is supposed to sit down while the chef or the servant serve her favorite meal. Miss, can we eat before my appetite walks out of the door? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't lose appetite. You know I enjoy what you eat. Spend more time with you girls. Eh? You can't be serious. I am. I mean, I like to learn how to do so many things like cook, you know, things that you guys find so easy to do. I like to learn them before I get married. Not on my watch. If the queen gets you here with us, we are dead meats. Hey, my princess. Yes. I would like to come and leave with you when you're finally moving with your husband. <laughs> Me too. I'll bat your children, clothe them, and sing lullaby to them to make them sleep. <laughs> you're talking as if my mother would let you anywhere near me after I'm married. She won't let you leave this palace. <clears throat> mother. Your Highness. Honey, I would like to have a word with you. All right, sure. Do you mind waiting for me in the sitting room?
What was that for? Udogadi? Yes, Your Highness. What was the princess doing here with you? Um, um, we are sorry, Your Highness. Uh, we tried stopping her, but she insisted, Your Highness. You all will be sorry for yourselves. I'll be right back. Udogadi, the queen is very angry. Good. We're in big trouble. What are we going to do now? of your Timurid kingdom. You should pride on your royalty so that you'll be worshipped. Those maids should shiver at your presence. Learn from me, sweetheart. Learn from me. You're teaching me exactly the opposite of what grandmother thought me. The way I see it, you're trying to make me do the things your mother didn't let you do. Humility is the watchword, mother. Humility, my foot. When I was a princess, I loved to be given the attention I deserved. I loved to be a star to be celebrated every day. Though my mom and her bloody ethics about oneness made that very far from being achievable. But you, my sweetheart, have the opportunity of standing out in a crowd. And what are you doing with that opportunity? You cast your gold to the swine. They are not swines, mom. They are human beings like you and I. Reasonable ones at that. You should sit and chat with them one of these days. Never. Never. I did that when I was a princess. But now I am the queen. And I call the shots around here. <laughs> You're talking as if it's a taboo to mingle with these people. They're human beings created by the same God who created you and I. It's no fault of theirs that they don't come from a royal family. Too bad. I did not make the rules. As far as I'm concerned, there are no rules stating that the princess must not interact with maids. Well, I have fulfilled all righteousness. Go ahead. But when they start challenging you and throwing insults at you, don't come running to mom. Okay? Where we go for a honeymoon? Somewhere on the islands. Maybe the Caribbean. The Middle One of those places. Hmm. Well, I was thinking Europe. You know, Paris, Milan, Switzerland, or maybe the United States. Somewhere on the island would just be right. I hope it's not all about the money. Please don't be cheeky. Right? <laughs> Just say it because I would really have like to have a very, very good honeymoon. You know it's once in a lifetime thing. So I would like to spend. My princess. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Come. I'm coming. Let me keep this. Alright. Oh, 
wonder who she is. Margaret. Yes. I've told you times with that number. But you don't have anything to do with people like this. I mean, you are embarrassing my whole entourage. She's just a human being, okay? Margaret. You are a princess from a royal family. You have nothing to do this, this kind of people. All right, nothing. all right. I'm sorry you feel that way, okay? Let's just continue. Let me tell you something. If this kind of nonsense happens next time, believe me, you, I will take a very long walk. It's okay. I've heard you. And I hope he's not coming back to this table. How would I know that? Anyway. See, now this place in Brooklyn, New York, they have this, you know, beautiful... My princess. You don't know me again. That's it. All right, boys. Let's go. Philip. Margaret. If you don't have respect for me, you should at least respect the crowd. Let's go. Never mind. Um, <laughs> you were saying? My princess, yes. You dated your blood to my son. Oh, is it you? It's me and oh. you saved his life. Oh dear. What are you doing here? I'm a cleaner here. Oh, oh really? Now I'm busy working, so I saw you. Okay. Let me go and greet you. Yes, thank you. Now, let me buy you something to drink. Oh. Ah, thank you very much. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe some other time. Thank you very much. Thank God. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh. you in my hands. So many thoughts went through my mind. I looked forward to grooming you the way your grandparents, great grandparents did and others before them. You know what princess? I was groomed the same way too. Yes, I was. Outside the part where I was made to relate with servants and maids. My mom trained me to become the wife of the king. So yeah, do you know that all your ancestors were kings and queens? Paternal and maternal. <laughs> they were all from royal families. I'm from a royal home too. My dear, now you understand why I'm happy that you're seeing Prince Philip. Mom, this is the obtained time I'm hearing this. I have heard you. You know your mother, I love talking about it. And I am tired. I need to get a drink. <gasps> Mom, just a drink. Hang on. Yes. The princess wants to drink water. Yes, your yes. highness. I didn't make the rules. I still have my legs and my arms. 
You're still the princess. Alright. It's our own, of course. Your own? Your own? Yes, my own. Is that your sick mother that can't get up from the bed? Or your thiefing brother that bought this educate? Eh? My brother is not a thief. He's my uncle that just came in from the village that brought his so I can prepare for my mother. Mm -hmm. Your brother is not a thief, what? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. Every day for the thief, one day for the owner. Hmm? We shall see one day, don't worry. Family of thieves. Look at them. Preparing the chicken, eh? So, um. You see, mommy, fine. Why, why you are coming? Here? Mommy, fine. Yes, sir. Why? What, 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 what happened? She came in here and started asking me who was the chicken I was preparing. And what did you tell her? I told her that it was my uncle that just came in from the village that brought it so I can prepare for my mother. Good boy. Eh? Yes. We'll stick to that story, eh? Yeah? Um, did she go inside? Hmm. Go inside. Who allow her? Uh, okay. That's that's very good. Uh, I went to see one of my doctor friends and he gave me these drugs, yeah? He said they are pain relievers. Okay. That uh, it will relieve mama's pains fast. Very good. Uh -huh. So let me quickly go in. Wait, wait, what about mama? She's fine, but She's sleeping. Uh -huh. she, yes. Okay, no worries. Let me give her the jobs, eh? Okay. Yeah. So Prepare it well. Mm -hmm. all I could take. My stomach could not accept anymore. So that I don't vomit it. It's okay. Um, get up. I, I brought you your drugs. Oh, let me help you. Oh. I brought your drugs. Your 
doctor friend has returned. Mm, yes, he's back. I'm mean, just coming from his place. God will bless him for all these favors. Amen. Amen, Mama. He's doing well. He's really helping out. Mama, you take these drugs now. Um, this you will take one once a day. Okay? And this is uh, two, three times daily. Have you called to find out where she is? No, I... No, I didn't bother to call since I was coming to the house. All the same, let me give her a call. Of course I'm in the house. Where are you? What are you doing there? Okay. Alright. I'll meet you up in 10 minutes. I think I know where she is. Okay. I, uh, I will join her there now. Say me well to your parents. That's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Gentlemen.
wonder what is the problem. I am not going to continue with this trip if that man is still in the trunk of the car. Okay, what is your problem? Man? What do you mean by what is my problem? That is Indian man leaving a human being in the trunk of a car. Do you There's not no see air, him? air there. Do you not see him block my car? I have to wait for a bike man before I pull my car. What stopped you from telling the guards to move the bike so that you drive off? Listen, my girl. I've told you before, I'll handle this my own way. When I'm through with him, I'll drop you off. Let's go and eat and let me take you. It's right? what? With a human being in the trunk of a car? Don't tell me you're this heartless. It's not been heartless. It's just little discipline. It's my princess. It's okay. Oh my God. Don't take what happened to her. Please. That man is... Why am I even calling him a man? Is he worthy to be called a man? That thing is barbaric. He's so callous. I wonder what I see in him. Oh, no, my princess. You do not use such vain words to describe your husband to be. Udo, you don't understand because if you were present, you probably would have been looking for a gun to shoot him. Despite the fact that he beats and he, he almost killed the man and put him in the trunk of a car, he still raining abuses on him. What kind of a human being is that? If I were not of a royal background, I would have given him a showdown. Thank God you did it. Calm down. Let's finish what we are doing, please. I'm not interested anymore, please. And he calls himself a prince. Drop whatever they are holding and leave. item that does not belong to you, that you have not paid for it. What? Yes. Are you stupid? I would like to search you. You want, you want to insult me? You want to search me? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. I thought you said all customers should leave the, the shop. The did, 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 did I buy anything? Excuse me. This young man hey. went to the shelf and picked his little swatch and put it inside his pocket. When I asked him, he said, what? I should shut up. You're I... calling me a thief. What is the meaning of this now? So now listen to me. Listen. We have to search you right now. And if you don't find anything in your pocket, we'll apologize to you. And this attendant here will be severely dealt with. <laughs> now, wow. Oh, okay, no, listen, him. listen. Keep quiet. I said, keep quiet. See, search uh, him. See, uh, okay, okay. No, 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 no problem. Sack if him. you don't see anything, I swear I will make sure they sack you from this place. Uh, don't, 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 don't touch me. I said, wait, wait. Let me open, open my, 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 my bag for you. 
my, 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 my bag. You see nothing. Did, did you find anything? There's nothing there now, eh? What is it? Wow. It is my own! Your own. I mean, this is not a in my hands! Did you not get my message? Sir, actually, we got your message. And we are trying to send the customers that way so that you will come on in. Then this guy, this guy here, used it as an opportunity to steal a wristwatch from us. I stole what? Yes, this is my wristwatch now! Where is the wristwatch? Bring it. See, I did not steal this switch. Hey, thief. But well, is that why you interrupt my shopping? Because of this lying thief? Sir, we are very, very sorry. We are very sorry. Get this one out of this place, my friend. Sorry. Ah. Uh, you. Give me my watch. Give me my watch. Do you have any artwork or picture like for you? Yes, Street when your company is filled with cars. Actually, I was on my way to your house. If you're going to my house, you can go ahead. Let me not disturb you. Come on. You know you're the one I'm going there to see. You know, you are the one that actually got hot, not the stupid bike man. So I, I just want to say I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. Please, I'm sorry, okay? something concerning what just happened. I think you should take it easy with her. You know women are very soft and fragile. They should be handled with care. Are you stupid? Mm, have you lost your entire natural mind? Yes. Your job is not to think, but to take orders. So, now listen to me. 
if you're very sure you still want to retain that lousy position of yours, don't you ever breathe loud when I'm talking. Do you understand me? Yes, um, I'm sorry, my friends. Please forgive my ignorance. Now take this and take this one for her, my friend. You're telling me what you think, you lousy maid. under control. Thank you, my daughter. I have to go now. Hey, GK. Yes, princess. I'll come and see you people tomorrow. Yes, princess. But in case you don't see me, um, you know the palace of the king of Ngala Kingdom? Yes, princess. Just come there and ask for Princess Margaret. They'll bring you straight to me. Yes, princess. Take care of yourself. Make sure your brother takes his drugs. Yes, uh -huh. princess. Okay. Mama. Take care. Stop crying. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Good night. Thank you, my daughter. Take care. Good night, my daughter. Don't worry, ma. He's going to be okay. Take good care of him, ma. Thank you. Good night, ma. Thank you. God, heal my son for me. You know he's the pillar of this family. If anything happens to him, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, God. Mama, Mama. Oh. Mama. How are we going to fare? Mama, I'll be fine. Oh, get my drugs. Mama, I see. God, please. Not, not go for our mistakes, God. But a poor is sick, poor widow, who has no any other person to talk to God. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm sorry. I said I'll be fine. Stop crying. 
My suitcase, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. I Oh, my God. Where can this daughter of mine be? Prince Philip said he saw her walking this afternoon with her mates. I've always told her not to go out of here without a car. My friend. Marianne. Marianne. Where is the princess? She went for a walk with me, Nancy and do that. Are you not a fool? What time is it? How many times have I told you not to let her walk out of this compound on foot? We all know she loves to walk. But I've always told you to insist on her using a car. And you, Ikem? Okay. What's your own story? Your Highness, we offered to drive her, but she refused. So what stopped you from driving behind her till she agreed to enter the car? You all are just a bunch of non-entities. I mean, look at how dark it is. And the princess is out there without a car or a guard. Get out of my presence this minute. For my goods. Did he destroy to your compound? Please give it back to me. I promise to lock it properly this time. Okay? Become one. <coughs> Mama Chief, hmm? do you know the lock you have? The lock you have is that my sick mother and brother are sleeping I, and I don't want to shout else you see the real color of HK. Huh? I don't blame you. Hmm? I don't blame you. <laughs> The other time, you donated your royal blood to a mad commoner. That wind has not blown over yet. Now you're just telling me that you saw an injured boy on the road and um, you took him to the hospital from there to his house. What do you think you are? Mother Teresa, you are a princess for crying out loud. And princesses don't walk the streets. They walk on red carpets. Princesses do not go to people's houses. Rather, people come to them. And the princess would attend to the person at her own leisure. Princesses dine with the high and mighty in the society. Not with mere servants and maids. I don't know why you keep making yourself look like a commoner. I just want your father to come back 
and address this issue because I've had it up to here. Mom, you're blowing this out of proportion. Which way you can want to see him? He's at the porch waiting. All right, um, tell him I'll be with him shortly. No. I will be a good queen if that is what you're scared of. I won't disappoint you. I have someone to attend to. <laughs> Princess, he said if I don't see you, I should come. That's why I'm here. Maybe you forgot me. No, I did not forget. It's just I've been very busy with my mother. Princess, your house is fine. Thank you. Maybe I should come and be working here so you can be paying me. Ah, oh, AGK, you're still too small. Besides, you should be thinking of going back to school, not working. If I go to school, who will take care of my brother and my mother? Don't worry, things will sort itself out. Yeah. Let me show you around the house before you leave. Yeah. started. Um, can I get your passport now? You know, so I can get our visas ready to avoid delays after the wedding. Uh, I will have to speak with my mom first. Um, you may have to come back for it later. Very well then. Um, my parents have been bothered about you lately. You know, they said you've not been coming around to see your future in laws. Or oh, is anything the matter? No, not at all. I'm told them I'll see them next weekend and extend my greetings to them. That's all right. Do you. Do you mind if we go swimming? Um. Um, I. No.
Did she give it to you? Uh, no. She said she would like to have a word with you. I mean, I don't know what she wants to discuss. But in any case, I'll be back again tomorrow. Very well then. Extend my greetings to the king and queen. Certainly. Bye bye. to think about. Okay? I'm fine. That sound is okay. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How is your health? Oh, my daughter. God is my strength. Thank you for the gifts you sent to us. Mama is nothing. God will reward you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you all the same. Thank you very much. It's all right. Oh, my dear. Mama. Let me go inside and rest my head a little. Okay. No problem. I'll come and see you later inside. Okay. Sorry. So, how is the wound? I still feel pains. But I think it's here. Thank you very much. I saw the things you give to us. No, but don't you think they are too much? Not you too. <coughs> okay. Please. Okay. It's all right. Meanwhile, where is my AGK? Oh, that man. <laughs> he should be out there. I guess he went to get something. That little boy is very bold. And you can say that again. Yes. 
Do you think we should go? I am shocked that you of all people can ask such a question from me. I forgot the word the Queen told you. Or do you want to have your head on the dustpan? Please, Ikemi, I am not ready to lose my job. Okay, let's wait. But I'm scared. The princess might be angry with us for flouting her orders. Which is more bearable, the queen's range or the princess's anger? Let's walk to the calm wait. In the afternoon of that same day, they brought his cops home. They said he just slumped and died. That was it. That was how we lost our father. And things have never remained the same. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Let me go in and see Mama, like I said. After you. She went out of the car. Why in God's name is she not back by now? I don't know. It's yeah. quite unusual. I'm very confused about this whole thing. Maybe she's held up in traffic. We still have a lot to discuss. A lot. I don't even have a passport. So how will I apply for the visa? See, no matter whatever time she comes back, I'm going to wait for her. I'll wait for her right here. Very well then. Let's wait inside. Make sure I eat them this night. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow too. All right. I have to go now. All right. Uh, I'll walk you to where you get a taxi. Okay. Mary, I, I won't be staying for breakfast, all right? So package the food for me. I don't understand my presence. I said I won't be staying for breakfast, so make the food take away from me. The whole lot? Yes. Where's my mom? She's still sleeping. All right, make something for her before she wakes up, okay? And hurry up with the stuff I just told you. None of you will be going with me anywhere, all right? But, but Mama, please. I'm not interested in what you have to say. Just do what I've told you to do, okay? Margaret told me that she cannot cook. Margaret must learn how to cook.
people said You never know what tomorrow brings So stop the wickedness in this palace. Your Highness, if I may say, the princess is stubborn and self-willed. Sometimes she beats us to it. She beats you to what? So, does anybody know where my daughter is? Meet me inside. salt to an already made food. Why? Well, uh, there's no reason in particular. It's just that my mother said it's not good for her. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, it's not bad. Hey, Chica! Hey, Chica! Who is that? Timothy! Ah, who is that? I'm here now. Where is my stove and my way, Baru? Did EGK borrow them? How am I supposed to know that? Does one borrow people's things behind them or when they are not around? What is that supposed to mean? Eh? Hey, huh? So, why are you here? You pretend as if you don't know? Uh, why? It was exactly here that I saw my wheelbarrow the last time it was missing. Look. You stole my wheelbarrow. And? Um, um, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I sure there's a mix up somewhere. Yeah? Um, let me look inside. Just hold on. You better do that. Am I being here? Oh, no, don't. Please don't be upset. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Take it easy. Uh -huh. Does this look like a wibaro? Huh? Ah! Look like a wibaro? Ah! Come here. Fool! 
imagine? It's okay, drop the cutlass now. What nonsense! So, what you all are telling me is that you don't know where my daughter usually goes to her. Well, it's okay. As it stands right now, you all are dismissed. Please your your hands. Hands. You are dismissed! Wait for me at the back end. And uh, where is my beautiful bride? Uh, I actually sent her somewhere, but she will soon be back. Would you want to wait or come back later? Oh, uh, never mind, never mind. I um, I rather come back later in the day. That will be fine. So, if you'll excuse me now. My regards to your parents. That's okay. Yes, Your Highness. Since you know where my daughter is, let's go and bring her back home. Yes, Your Highness. Oh. You know you're going to be a very good cook. Margaret, what are you thinking about? I need you to be very honest with me, Timothy. What happened at your house was not funny. I mean, nobody goes around accusing people of what they didn't do. So tell me, did AJK steal those things the man claims he did? Or was it just a joke? AJK doesn't steal. I do. I'm the thief. You're what? You're a thief? Yes. But I didn't take what that man was accusing us of stealing. I can't believe this. Uh, I'm not proud of it. But I can't help it. I have to do it so that my family can survive. I lost my father two and a half years ago. And two years after his death, my mother fell so ill. It was very serious. There was nobody to help. I tried all I could to raise money. I went to the school board, severally, to get some money for her treatment. But, they turn me away at each occasion. Please, sir. My mother is dying. She's dying. You have to do something. She needs to go for a fibroid operation. Well, they are still outside the chair. Sir, is there nothing you can do to facilitate this payment? Do something. I mean... Absolutely not. The chairman doesn't sign the check. Nobody can withdraw the money. 
What are you telling me? Huh? What is this? It is as if I'm begging you people for money. This is my mother's salary. Four months salary that you've refused to pay her. Why? How do you expect her to survive? Huh? I need it. I, I need the money. I need the salary now, please. Young man, it's not our fault. It's affecting everybody. It's affecting me too! and fast. I was disappointed. But I was There was nobody to turn to. My, my brother was, in fact, he dropped out of school. The menial job I was doing was giving me little or nothing. That was when I started stealing livestock, just for my family to feed. Sometimes I go out. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. As far as the car can go, the rest of the journey will be completed on foot. What? You mean my daughter comes this far? Anyway, let's go. Princess of Ingala Kingdom? Yes, Your Highness. She's my daughter. Did she come here today? Yes, Your Highness. I want you to go in there and tell her that her mother, the Queen of Ingala Kingdom, wants to see her now. Your Highness, she went out. Went out to where? Your Highness, I don't know. Very well then. 
If she comes back here, which I wish she doesn't, tell her that her mother, the queen, would like to see her at the palace. Yes, Your Highness. I wouldn't want to come back here. Yes, Your Highness. Take me out of here. Thank you for, for... It's okay. Thank, you. thank I'm, God I'm for so everything. Grateful. All right? But promise me one thing. Yes. You will stop doing that stuff. Oh, no, no, no. I promise. I won't do it again. It's okay. Freedom is it? I really, really had a nice time today. What? Get out! Yes, sir. Out! The prince came today looking for you. And I had to tell him that I sent you on an error. I lied to him. Margaret, you made me lie to him. He's complaining that he's not seeing you as often as he should. Your father will soon be back. And up till now, no arrangement whatsoever has been made concerning your wedding. Who do you think you are? Do you know the pressure you're giving the, the, the prince? You are giving the prince the impression that you are a wayward girl who was not well trained. Margaret, was this the training I gave you? Was this how I brought you up? Philip is a handsome prince who loves and cares about you. And instead of you to reciprocate and appreciate him, you are there gallivanting all over the place playing God. I mean, imagine where... You spend your day. You spend your day with mere commoners. Commoners who should worship the ground on which you walk on. Listen. You better put your acts together and get yourself married. If not, I will personally kill you. I mean every word I just said. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll, I'll stick around more often. You had better be. One more thing. You are grounded. You will go out with Prince alone. No other person comes here looking for you. I hope that is clear. <laughs>
much to me Oh baby, I care about you They just can't understand You're my dream You're my sunshine Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, Timothy. If, sorry, Phil. No. I hope you've not been waiting here for too long. What did you just call me? Phil. Phil. Who is Timothy? Uh, a sick guy. Uh, a sick guy. Just a sick guy. No. I printed the cards. You have? Mhm. Mm it's ready. Why? Why didn't you tell me so you know what I wanted? Well, since you decided to be invincible, I have to do it. Besides, don't forget that time is no longer our friend. Do you know what today's date is? Oh, please, Timothy. Philip, I... Margaret. Yes? What's happening? This is about the second time you are addressing me by that name, Timothy. Who is Timothy? Can you tell me what is happening, Margaret? Who is Timothy? You don't need to worry yourself about it. She's all yours. No other man can take her away from you. I want to tell you something, Philip. My no arguments and um, misunderstandings in relationships are healthy. As a matter of fact, they help the relationships grow. So my dear, I want you to put your mind on the wedding. She will meet you halfway, okay? Come on, drink up. I don't know how much longer I can keep up with this. It's either one complaint or the other. Now, who in God's name is Timothy? Your fiance came and complained to me that you now call him Timothy. Listen, sweetheart, you are about to lose something very beautiful. If this Timothy of a guy is just a one-off thing in a fleet of anger, which I don't see the basis, fine. But if it is not, and you make the prince not to go through with this wedding, you will... I will what, mother? What will happen? Nothing I do ever meets your approval. See, the prince can go to hell for all I care. Everything. 
What nonsense is this? What?
Whatever discussion you want to have with me can wait until I come back from the burial. Are you doing all this because your mother is not around? If my mother were around, it wouldn't change anything. I've made up my mind to go for the burial and no one can stop me. Now listen, Margaret. You're not leaving this compound until your mother returns. Do you understand me? It would do you and I a lot of good not to create a scene in front of all the guards around. Now, if you'll excuse me. Slime from the pit of hell, and I'll do it again. <laughs> Fine. You can have him as a second husband because I will not go through with that marriage. And I'm not coming back to this house until father returns. You're nothing. Margaret, will you come back here? Ma you, follow her. Let nothing happen to my daughter. Take her to wherever she wants to go and bring her back when she's tired. I want to say this again for emphasis. Let nothing happen to my daughter. You may leave. Right. Hey, come back here. Get me this. And you. And please, 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 please. Will you leave my presence? The queen says I should make sure I bring her back home safely today. I know my queen. If I don't do what she said, I'll be in a whole lot of trouble. The princess wants me to go back home, but I could not live here without her. Um. You know what? Why don't you just go home? Huh? I'll try to talk to her this night. Hmm? Come back first thing tomorrow morning and you will pick her. I'm sure by then she should be calm. Bros, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying. I cannot live here without my princess. So, what are you going to do then? We are stop crying.
know you miss her, but all will be well. I still can't believe that we could lose her so soon. So soon. It's all right, you heard what the doctor said. She died of excess bleeding, in as much as the operation was successful. That is why I wanted to kill that secretary. If I had gotten the money, they would have done the operation a long time ago. It's okay. She wouldn't die. Thank God you didn't. What would she concentrate on now is praying that her soul will rest in perfect peace. Amen. Meg. Everything happened so fast. So there was no time for me to say thank you. I... It's okay. Shh. I also know how to do that. <laughs> Since you came into my life, everything changed for the better. I mean, the ugly things I used to do, I do them no more. You came as a savior to my mother, but she died. God knows best. You took care of the entire burial expenses. Educate back to school. All thanks to you. You've done so much for my family. I don't know how to pay you back. You're the angel of my life. As unpleasant as our meeting was, I still feel it was more than coincidence because when I threw that thing away, it landed of all places to land your head. I mean, I'm really glad I met you and I'm also glad I didn't give up on guys like you. Sorry, I hope I'm not talking too much. Why don't we go to sleep? Let's sleep. It's been a hectic day. Uh, are you... Are you not going back to the house? Yes. No, I'm sleeping here. If you will excuse me, I'd like to lie down with HK. After the fight, she came back home and I I slapped her. Since then she has not come back home now for two days. Have you gone out to look for her? No, my lord. I but he came knows where she is. He dropped her off and um, slept overnight in the car. I repeat, did you go out to look for her? Since you know where she is. No, my king. 
I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was necessary. Moreover, you know the kind of daughter you have. She's very stubborn. You mean I left you in charge of everything and traveled for a few weeks? And you allowed Philip to come in between you and one thing that matters to us? Did you have to slap her? Okay, Ikem is now in the palace. Where is our daughter? Woman, can't I trust you again? To imagine that you can sleep happily in this house, knowing that your daughter could be in danger out there. <sighs> Look, if you know what is good for you, go and bring back my daughter, safe and sound. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes, my king. Tell her to come back home. That her father is back and wants to see her. Hurry now, okay? Hey, don't forget to take her clothes. Hurry, hurry. She refused to come back with us. What do you mean she refused to come back with you? Did you tell her her father is looking for her? I did, my queen. But she didn't believe us. She thinks it's a treat to make her come back home. How? Oh. Because I thought you were joking when you were pulling my legs this afternoon. Told you. My princess, the king sent us to you. He said we should come and bring you back home. <sighs> this night, I'm not going anywhere. It's late, I can't go home. Go. Princess, how can you say that? Your father is back. So? Just go and see him. I can't go anywhere now, it's late. Tell him I'll see him tomorrow. Mm. Princess, you're, you're, hold on. My uh, uh, don't worry, she, she, she'll go with you, okay? Just give me a minute, let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. Excuse me. And bro, Timothy, yes. these are her clothes. Let her wear it, okay? Thank Let you. her wear it. Okay, I'll give it to her. Okay. <laughs> Prince Philip is totally different from the kind of man I look forward to living with for the rest of my life. At first I thought he was going to change, but as the days passed by, he just grew worse. Daddy, can you imagine a bike man parked in front of our car, innocently? Prince Philip beat him up mercilessly and threw him in the trunk of the car. Daddy, you and I know how the trunk of a car is. It is dark and there's hardly air there. He left him there for an hour or for God knows how long because I left them there. He's so heartless, Dad. And guess what he did again? He pulled a show at my friend's mother's burial. He did what? He fought with a guy and in the process tore my clothes. Daddy, I know I have not been in my best behavior lately, but it's for a reason. I injured someone and I needed to make sure the person was all right. So I was always away. And you know me, Dad, I'll make up for that. 
I do my child. You are kind at heart and very considerate too. Anyway, I'm glad you are home, but never you pull such stunts again. Uh, you know your mother loves you so much and that is why she does most of the things she does. Hmm? Well, I will invite Philip uh, and have a talk with him. You see, my little princess, don't worry. Your dad is back to make you glad, to make you happy. Okay? Speaking of making me happy, Dad, what did you bring back for me from Italy? Oh, I thought you wouldn't ask. Well, um, go in, freshen up, eat, and come back. Your gift is in. Not here yet. I told him to go that I can take care of myself. Honey. Honey, I'm really very sorry. I I want to apologize for slapping you the other day. I I should have heard from you first instead of acting on just what the prince told me. I'm really very sorry. It's okay, it's all right. Please, I, I don't want you to misunderstand my attitude for any other thing than love. I want you to end up in a good home just like I did. I know your thoughts towards me are not evil, but it's the way you go about it. I can't exactly be who you want me to be. You should have learned from the tears I cried when I was little, when you told me not to mingle with my friends. Mom, I am not a class conscious person and I can never be. Prince Philip is a nice guy, yes, but there's more to marriage than just being nice. I know, but I'm very sorry. Just that I was trying to play out a script I had written in my head years back. I'm sorry. So, can we still be friends? Friends forever. I love you so much. I love you too. I'll call your mates now. I'm, I'm I'll call them! No, 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 no! I won't let you do anything!
wish I had gone with the two of you. The tunnel during the Borean was massive. People came from all over the world to grace the occasion. We saw it on TV. <laughs> I'm glad I was there. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> I spoke to Philip this afternoon and uh, he explained certain things which I understood. Who is this Timothy? <clears throat> it seems he's the bone of contention right now. Philip told me more about this character. So my daughter, what do you have to say? Dad, you remember the guy I told you who got injured by me? That's Timothy. And I, I, I think I'm in love with him. What? Margaret, is it not the same boy whose house I visited last week? Yes, ma'am. Listen, Margaret, that you have refused to marry Philip does not mean you should go to the slums of Bundu. No way. Mom, I thought we discussed this matter earlier. Daddy, please. He makes me happy. Makes you happy? Yes. Mm. Then invite him over. Let me see him and make my judgment. Who is the greatest dad on earth? You there? <laughs> Thank you so much. You can trust me. I'm sure my father will. Yeah. I'm sure they will look good on me. How much is it? Sixty thousand. Come have my change. What are you doing with this thief? And how is that your business? See, Princess, Prince Philip just got the phone call. I asked us just to come and find out who this guy is. And this is how you're finding out? My Princess, what will people say when they see the wife of the Prince of Otumwe Kingdom walking around town with the prison? Will you put that thing back? Whose wife are you talking about? Now, if the both of you... Just get yourselves out of this place and tell your prince that I said I am no longer interested in the marriage. I have found someone else. Get out.
in question? He become in a taxi or a bike. As soon as you sight the target, take him out. And everybody celebrates. You see, he terrorizes his neighbors. Steals your livestock. He's a cheap thief. But he don't decide to join the League of Big Guys. Oh. <laughs> but some girls now wow. He hold you, my prince, of the whole of this town. Now in the lead, they go follow that cheap thief. But my prince, oh, I don't know whether you come with the picture here. Because I would like to reason when I want to hit the target. I didn't know I would need it. I didn't come with it. You know, it happened so fast. But with the description, you're not going to make any mistake. Okay? He's a fair guy of average height with a trim air. You know? Of course. Like I said, he'll be coming there in a taxi or a bike. As soon as you spot him, hit him down. I don't know the exact time he'll be coming tomorrow. And that is more reason you have to be there early enough. Do I make myself clear? Of course, my prince. I'm just going to do exactly that. And just trust me and my boys. Check. Anyway, I came prepared for you. That's a check of 300,000 naira. And you can pull that from any branch of that bank. As soon as the job is completed, you rest assured you're going to get another 200,000 naira. Well, my prince. But remember, yeah. I don't sell livestock. So I will not entertain any cock and bull stories. Do you understand? I understand, my prince. Make you no worry now. No be tentacle you they talk to. Just count it down. I and my boys are going to deliver now. And on time. Have a good day. <laughs> not you know there are different clothes for different occasions I thought you would have just gone there in your full regalia <laughs> your highness mom okay. I was looking for you people at the throne room what's going on we are just relaxing mm -hmm. <laughs> my dear your highness yes please can I tell he came to go and pick Timothy from his house Mm, most certainly. Tell him to go and bring the young man. All right, I will. Well, you had better freshen up before your visitor comes. I will. Mm, please do. Enjoy yourself. All right, cook. 
Whoever prepared this meal must have magic hands. <laughs> wow! The cook is sitting right beside you. Oh my god! You prepared this meal? I learned from the master. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Tata, what are you talking about? What are you telling me? You listen, listen to him. Who gave you 300,000 naira to send some dogs out there? Do you understand me? I understand you, my prince. Just calm down. There's no cause for alarm now. Those boys are my own guys. They are tested and confirmed artilleries. I promise you, they are going to deliver. Don't be any mistake. Just Shut up, you swine! I don't know them. It's you I know. I didn't pay them. It's you I paid them. I advise you, you get your ass in there, prepare yourself and get out there and get my job done. And when you do it, you do it well or else you will take his place. Do you understand me? Just calm down my prince. I'll do it right well.
target don't land. You don't land. You don't land. I see one ties way back outside that gate now. And the target today is inside the ties. Uh, wait for me, make I bring my tool. Okay. <laughs> Broken heart. 